Hi everyone, this video is to talk about the new feature on Pen & Chase, Sandbox Leagues. We're going to talk a little bit about how you get started, what they're all about, and I'm going to show you the coolest feature of Sandbox Leagues, which is that you get to manage your own games. So let's jump right in and get started here. So when you go to the Join League page, what you're going to see, it's not there right now, but what you're going to see under these four options that you're all very familiar with, is you're going to see an option on the bottom here which allows you to create a sandbox league. Now I'm already logged in as a user and so you will have to have an account on Pen & Chase and be logged in and what that's going to take you to is this page. This is the Create Sandbox League page. Now what you'll notice on this page it's telling you some information about sandbox leagues and it's also noting down here at the bottom that you haven't currently donated $20. So I want to talk briefly about why Sandbox Leagues require a $20 donation and what they're all about. So Sandbox Leagues are really for more of a solo player experience. This is a league for you to do whatever you want with. Um, it's really intended for a solo experience or maybe people who, a few people who live in a house together and want to play head to head. Maybe people who live in a dorm room and each, each person wants to manage their own team throughout a season. I want to be very clear that the managing your own game feature is not a network online feature. So for example, two people can't be across the country and play against each other. This isn't an online network game. This is a game where you would have to be in the same house on the same computer if you want to play head to head. But really I, I envision sandbox leagues again as more of a solo experience. Because it's more of a solo experience, I have to know that people who create sandbox leagues are going to actually use them. And the only way I can guarantee that is to have some kind of fee up front. Now you guys know that I've made every effort to keep every part of Pen & Chase that I possibly can free, and I'm going to continue to do that, but I think sandbox leagues are a really unique circumstance and situation. So I don't, this isn't, this isn't a feature that I expect a ton of people to be all that interested in, and I'm sure the $20 is going to cause people to turn away, but this is a real niche um, feature of the site. And the $20 donation is going to be a yearly requirement. So when you create your sandbox, you'll get it for a year, and then you'd have to donate $20 again. I do want to point out quickly that if you've donated, let's say you just donated $10 yesterday, you only have to donate another $10 to get your sandbox league. So you would go to the donate page, and you make your donation. Those of you who have done this before are very similar. After you've donated $20, you return to this page, and it's going to give you the opportunity to create your sandbox league. You can start with any of those familiar sets of players, the all-time greats or the best of 2012, whatever player set you want to start with. You guys are pretty familiar with the player databases. So let's say you've now created your league. I'm going to log out and log in as myself because I already have a sandbox. And what I'm going to show you is that on my league list, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see underneath my leagues, I've got my sandbox league, Guys Sandbox. So I'm going to click on that, and you're going to see it's just like any other league. And um, for those of you who have been commissioners before, you're very familiar with the commissioner tools. You access it up here in the, the right corner. And so I'm going to go to the Commissioner Tools. And so Sandbox Leagues are just like any other league. You have all the power to create and customize your league however you want. I'm going to point out a few quick exceptions with Sandbox Leagues. So when I go to the Change League Settings, you'll notice that I cannot change this into a public league. So again, Sandbox Leagues, they're only private. They're not public. They're not custom leagues. These are not leagues that are designed to have a whole bunch of people in them. This is, again, more of a solo player experience is how I envision it. So you could invite some friends to a sandbox league by using a league password. You would send them your password and your league ID. For example, my sandbox is 648. And if I wanted to set a password and invite some friends to my sandbox, I could do that. Um, but again, this is you know for a really contained set of people. Um, the other thing about sandbox leagues I want to point out real quickly is that um, you can your wins and losses in a sandbox league are not going to be counted on your user records. So any wins and losses or rings that you win in a sandbox league obviously don't count toward your user records. So um, one other quick point for those of you who have not been commissioners before, when you get into your sandbox you're going to start with 12 dummy teams, you're going to have a set of players, you're probably going to want to organize your league 
construct your league the way you want it. You'll notice that I went through and built my entire league out. And so I would say it took me about six hours to build out an entire league with 30 teams. And I imported all the players. This in import historic player or team is really handy. You can import a team. So for example, there's the Arizona Diamondbacks and I want to import all the 2012 players. And then I scroll down to the bottom here and I say import the full team. And then I'm going to pick which team I want to import into the Diamondbacks and I can say import. I've already done all that. Now another way you could build your league is you could grab teams or players from other leagues that you like. So for example, let's say you like the way that I set up my sandbox. You could go to import player from another league. And you could scroll down this list and find my league, which is all the way down here somewhere. And so here's Guy's Sandbox. And let's say you want to import team by team. I would, I would highly suggest you, you check this carryover minor league status and contract info. What that will do is that will import players into the majors and the minors. I've already gone through the pain of separating out the rosters, making them all 25 players, and I put the, the sort of the junk players in the minor league. So you probably would want to do that. Let's say you want to take my Diamondbacks team and you continue. And then you're going to pick which, uh, which team. Oh, actually, this is the team I'm importing it to. So I'm going to import it to my Diamondbacks team. And I want to import the Diamondbacks. And then I would click Import. And then, so that would take all the players from my league into your league. Anyway, that's a quick recap of some ways you can set up your league um, if you're not already familiar with the Commissioner tools. I do want to point out creating the schedule is a big challenge for anyone who has not been a Commissioner yet. Um, I would suggest if you're going to try to do something like play a major league schedule, you probably are going to want to add your games one by one as you go along. And then once you play a full season, you can reuse that schedule. So you'll notice here that I've already built out the first day and the second day of the major league season. But I'm going to build this out as I go along. I'm not going to build the entire schedule at once. I, there's no way I would have enough time to do that. So I build it out one by one, and then I can keep that schedule and reuse it season after season. And one other quick handy thing here down at the bottom, option four, swap teams on schedule. So if I want to if I want to keep the same schedule but add variety between my seasons, I can take two teams like, let's say, the Atlanta Braves and the Arizona Diamondbacks, and I can swap their positions on my schedule. So the schedule will be a little different, but I don't have to rebuild it. So that's a nice feature. Okay, I want to jump now to the coolest thing about sandbox leagues, and that's the ability to manage your own game. So Again, those of you who are, have been commissioners are very familiar with this link in the upper right here, Simulate Game. This is where you actually simulate your games. But you'll notice in a sandbox league, you have this extra column over here, which is Manage Game. So for the purposes of this demonstration, let's jump into the San Francisco Giants at the Dodgers. We're going to go to Manage Game, and it takes you to this screen where you can pick which team you want to be controlled by a CPU or which team by human. And let's just say I'm going to manage the Dodgers. Um, and you can change this during the game. One quick thing I want to point out, you would want your, your lineups and your pitching rotation to be set before you hit go because you're not going to have a chance to reset your starting lineup. So let's jump into this game. And here we are. You're going to notice a screen that is, uh, well, let's turn the sound down a little bit. <laughs> you're going to notice a screen that is uh, very similar to um, the replay, for those of you who have seen replays on Penn and Chase before, um, it's a very similar thing. And um, and so a few things to point out about the managed game screen. So it, it's going to look and feel very similar to the replays, except the difference now is that you're actually impacting the game as it goes along. Um, you'll notice that the team that's at bat, you get this handy little in-game box score. And you can switch to pitchers, you can switch to the other team, you can see um, all the in-game box scores at the click of a button. Uh, you got the entire lineup, and you'll see that as, the guy, as a player steps to the plate, uh, his player card is going to show up here in the lower right, so you can quickly see his statistics. And let's say you wanted to check out the pitcher you're going up against, you could click on his name, and then his stats will show up in the right corner here. So. Um, you have instant access to a player's card and all their information. You have instant access to the in-game box score, and this is really handy. So you can kind of tell, you know, who's got a good arm in the field, uh, who's got good speed on the bases, and all that kind of stuff. 
So here we are in our game, and since I'm uh, since I'm the home team, I'm on the mound right now, so I only have three options. I've got the option for a, to do a normal pitch, swap positions on defense, or intentional walk. Let's just do a normal pitch. Pops it up. Okay, so there's my first out. And so you're going to go along, and now you see... Um, I've also got the option to replace the pitcher. So now that now that my starting pitcher actually threw a pitch, he's now eligible to be replaced. I'm obviously not going to pull him just yet. But your your options will change here based on the the situation of the game. Um, you know the the manager options are not super. Um, you know they're not super in depth. They're pretty basic. But I got to say I've I've played through a few games now, and it's actually really a lot of fun. Um, it's pretty thrilling when you know your guy comes through with a clutch hit at a clutch moment in the game, and it's kind of fun to um, be a little more involved in the game. So, and you're also going to see some newer options too, like pitching out, which uh, is something that's that's unique to the manager option of the game. So again, this is all pretty standard stuff. I won't go through this, um, you know, very much. Uh, Kershaw's getting roughed up here already. Um, but um, just kind of wanted to give you a feel for what it was all about. And um, like I said, I've, I've played through some games uh, as a manager, and I find it to be a lot of fun. Um, reminds me a lot about of the old school, you know, micro league baseball or Earl Weaver baseball. And it's something I've always wanted to do for the site, and I'm really excited to, um, to be able to finally roll this out. So I hope some of you will be out there and enjoying Sandbox Leagues. If you have any questions, as always, just... Uh, Drop me a note, let me know. Thanks.